Today, we are going to demo IBM's Network Slice Security Automation Solution, which we've developed in partnership with Red Hat, Palo Alto Networks, and Spirant to securely automate and orchestrate network slices. Built on Red Hat OpenShift, this demo will showcase how IBM is able to automate network slice deployment using our intent-driven orchestrator, secure it using IBM's and Palo Alto Network's security technology, and then test the end-to-end -end network slice security with Spiron. What's so exciting about this is that we are not only automating network slice provisioning, but we are bringing security to the forefront by securing network slices with zero trust principles that enable secure network operations with automated threat management and validation so communication service providers can accelerate time to market and delight their enterprise customers. For the use case being demonstrated here, Cloud Pack for Network Automation, also known as CP4NA, will act as the master orchestrator to create a 5G network slice and then integrate with Palo Alto Network's CN Series Network Firewall and IBM Cloud Pack for Security Platform for security analytics and threat response. We will also integrate Spirant's landslide and cyber flood solutions to validate traffic flow and emulate malware on a user endpoint to attack the core. These steps will be done via the CICD workflows, also known as continuous integration and continuous deployment on the Cloud Pack for Network Automation platform. For the demo, we will see the firewall performing its function to block known attacks. Suspicious attacks that need further investigation will be logged in Palo Alto Network's panorama and forwarded to IBM Security Q Radar for further analysis. Based on the analytics rule, it will create an incident in the IBM Security Orchestration Automation and Response Platform, also called SOAR, to automatically remediate the problem based on specific playbooks. In this case, it will push a firewall update to block the traffic from the infected user endpoint. Keep in mind that in a production environment, these will be previously agreed upon workflows between the network team and the integrated security team. Now, let's dive into the demo and see how this works end to end. The first part of our demo is the 5G network slice deployment, a highly complex multi-step process that we've automated. Let's start by looking at the service design of our assembly. From here, we can see the different components that we will be working on, primarily the user plane and control plane. Here we can see the task Cloud Pack for Network Automation, or CP4NA, will be performing. For the first test, the CP4NA orchestrator will trigger the provisioning of a network slice. Step two is all about validating the successful 5G core deployment utilizing the Spirant landslide solution. First, Cloud Pack for Network Automation, or CP4NA, deploys a Spirant landslide test to emulate the user endpoint by triggering an end-to-end -end traffic flow. As the slice is now provisioned, we need to check for the successful user endpoint PDU, which is the packet data unit sessions establishments, to validate the call flows. The landslide test will send traffic through the provision network slice to validate that traffic is passing through the user plane function, or UPF. As the test starts, we start to see some key performance indicators directly within our dashboard, which will allow us to confirm that the test was successful. The next step is all about securing the newly created slice by leveraging CP4NA to apply slice-specific security policies on Palo Alto Network's CN Series firewall. We start by configuring the firewall to target our slice and then configure the components of our slice to work with our firewall. The firewall is configured to also send log messages to Palo Alto Network's Panorama, which as part of the base infrastructure deployment has already been integrated with IBM's Cloud Pack for security platform. This integration provides two-way communication to receive logs as well as to conduct activities on the Panorama system to configure the firewalls. Now that we have a network slice deployed, tested, and integrated with Palo Alto Network's CN Series Firewall, we can validate the slice-specific security policies with Spirant's Cyber Flood solution. 
First, we have to establish that the application traffic is valid, that it is not being blocked and normal call functions and data flows are performing across the slice. Then we need to validate that emulated attacks, for example, IoT and SCADA targeted attacks are being blocked instantaneously on the slice per the firewall policy. As you can see, everything is working correctly as the first two are not malicious, so they are not being blocked by the firewall. As you can see by the detailed call flow, while the known SCADA attacks are shown as being blocked. By integrating the network slice with Palo Alto Network CN Series Firewall, the firewall now has full visibility and control over the traffic from the access management function, session management function, and user plane function, and hence can deliver threat management in line. We can see denied web browsing along with suspicious traffic being sent to the firewall, as well as detail about the individual threat as the firewall detected a potential exploitation of a vulnerability. So two key points here. One, we can see the traffic, and two, we can see the threats that are being blocked. Now, moving on to the threat analysis and remediation. These logs are being captured by Palo Alto Network's Panorama and forwarded along to IBM Security Q Radar for deeper analysis and event correlation. We can see the information and the network activity from the suspicious attack that was detected on the network slice. We can drill down to get even more details, including the IP addresses, number of related events, etc. Finally, based on the incident rule, IBM Security Q Radar then raises an incident to IBM Security Q Radar SOAR platform for further analysis. Information on this 5G network slice attack incident and associated artifacts are available in IBM Security Q Radar Security Orchestration Automation and Response Platform, also known as SOAR. Based on the playbook, the SOAR platform has automatically passed the command to Palo Alto Network's Panorama to push a firewall update to block the infected IP address. Going back to IBM Security Q Radar, we can now see that any traffic from the infected user endpoint has now been denied. The infected user endpoint IP address has also been added to the blocked group in Palo Alto Network's panorama. The denied traffic, which was allowed to pass earlier, is now blocked after IBM Security Q Radar SOAR has deemed the user endpoint to be infected. Now, let's run the same test again using CyberFlood. This time, we can see both the HTTP and RTSP that were not blocked before are now being blocked. And the flows show that the very first message did not even make it through because any traffic from the infected user endpoint is no longer allowed to pass. This concludes our end-to-end -end demonstration, which shows how communication service providers can take advantage of network orchestration, security technologies, and closed-looped automation to deliver network slice security at scale, leveraging Red Hat OpenShift and our partners' capabilities. Thanks so much for tuning in.